left hand side we have a 6C 2500 Berlinetta. And the right behind me is a 6C 2300mm. The owner, one day, he said, um, well, I bought a couple of Alphas. They'll be delivered this afternoon. And these two cars arrived, basically in chassis, completely disassembled. That's when the journey started. The first was the Berlinetta. He dumped a photograph down and said, well, that's, that's what I want. Right, where do we start? I was in the shop because I had a, a car being worked on by Paul and the team here. I understood what was being talked about and uh, the owner had a model of the coupe. He said, I want this real, I want the full-size vehicle. I said, I, can, I think I can help you with that. We went through a bit of a process and, and the, the result was a, a scale drawing and some sketches of, of what it could be. From that point onwards, we worked between the owner, myself and the guys in the shop. We had all the different trades working under the one roof. To tell you the truth, it's often a little bit like uh, oil and water. They don't actually mix, but along the way, we got them all pointing in the right direction. The history of these cars that we can find in the photographs, it appears that two coupes were made. We're not sure, no one can tell us, but certainly one ran in uh, Le Mans and one ran in the Milamega. We know the cars competed in those events. Afterwards, no one knows where they went but we knew the specification of the car. So we're lucky with this car to have a complete set of mechanicals that are identical to the car that raced. The original concept was a manufacturer would build a, a motor and match it to a chassis. That's what actually they were selling. And then uh, a coach builder or a, a, a privateer would put a body on that. Basically, you, you could take a chassis and engine combination and you'd put any body you liked on it, whether it was a closed uh, sedan, a, a Berlinetta, a Spider like this, the owner's choice. That was happening right up to the, the 50s. Right, features of this engine, six cylinder, three DCO3 Weber carburetors, which are the very, very first of the Weber carburetors. It has a dry sump engine, exactly the same as it was for the factory racing engine. And this was their first attempt at an aerodynamic car. So everywhere you see, they started to, for instance, see the flaring in of the hinges, the venting to get air from underneath the car, uh, and of course, um, their version of air conditioning, which is a couple of flaps. And you can see how technology hadn't quite caught up with the design of the windscreen. They've had to make it two flat panes of glass rather than one curved pane of glass. The Spider, it's got some unique features. This is an original tail light, uh, and it took years of hunting around to find the correct one with the correct lenses. And we've converted this so that it actually is an indicator as well as a, a, a brake light. Aircraft style seats, tube frame, with the leather actually slung inside the tube frame. Perspex windscreen, which is the most unusual shape and then all the trim work, we, we made all this trim. Supercharger with a big uh, Weber carburetor on it, twin cam, six cylinders, but this has a wet sump rather than a dry sump engine. The muffler is actually inside there and the pipes run through to the back. They develop these, what we call shark gill type of loose, so to direct the air in there to keep the muffler cool so that um, none of the bodywork on the exterior got hot. Driving the Spider for the first time, first of all, it's 150 kilos lighter than the coupe, supercharged engine, the controls are light. I, I was quite surprised driving it had what a modern feel it had to it. But this, this one's got a lot of character. You feel as though when you've driven it and you get back to the workshop or get it back home, you've really achieved something. An opportunity like this comes along once. <laughs> exactly. And uh, I think for all the people involved, it's like getting all those things you dream for all at once. I think these cars represent a fond memory of what the vehicles could have been. I'll go out on a limb here. In some ways, I would say this is the best one in the world. <laughs>